Hi guys, how are you? Right, uh, it's been a long time, but we're back. So, yeah man, I uh, hope I find you guys well, and I hope everything is going well for you. So we're going to be doing uh, this for the meantime. I'm using my phone's camera, and I'm using my hands free as the mic. I hope you can hear me clearly. So right, uh, some housekeeping first and foremost. Um, I hope you guys are studying. You've got the department is giving you a timetable for all the virtual classes. Please make sure that you follow it and also make sure that you have your study timetables on point. If you don't have a timetable right now and you wake up in the morning and you don't know what you're studying, when you're studying it, what time you're studying it, which, whatever, something is wrong with you. We're here to excel, ladies and gentlemen, so that's what we're going to do. So what is the immediate plan to at least end of month? Right, this is what I have thought. Uh, I tried to check. Apparently, my internet speed in the lab is very slow for me to live stream. And I am thinking also of having uh, virtual classes with you. Uh, Google Classroom can take up to a thousand students. I'll use Microsoft Teams. But that's for the future. In the meanwhile, time is, is going. And yeah, so what I'm going to do, be doing is this for now. I'm going to post videos, lessons on YouTube. I'll send you the link to the channel. You can spread the link, it's fine. Because all of you guys are in the same position, in the same boat. Send it, uh, I'll post. I'll inform you guys that I've posted. Or if you subscribe to it, then you can always check to see if there are any new posts. But the plan is for me to post every day. And then I'll give you guys 24 hours to go and view. And then, should you have any queries or any points that need clarification, then what you do is that you send me via app or you can write in the comment section of the of the channel below each post and then what we we'll do is that the next lesson then i will i will think i'll go through that first before we go to the new stuff i hope that makes it clear and then any other relevant stuff i'll send to d6 so make sure that your parents phones have dc d6 and also make sure that you guys have enough data. Your parents should make sure that they buy you data. Um, a lot of data. If they are resisting, please make sure that you show them this video. Because there is no other thing that we can do for now except to do this. And I know that it's better for you to see me and do me doing my things here. For you to better understand the subject. Right. To not waste any time. I'm not going to go to... I hope, like always, we're going to have our exam guidelines on, next to us. Right, term two, the latest ones. Term two is genetics, genetics and inheritance. Where are you? Um, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm having problems with this thing. The hand is up for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's close this. See if we can do this again. Right, so it's not the 2015 ones. Right. Let's go to the 2017 ones. There we go. Right. Let's play, guys. Please keep on studying the way you've been studying. Whatever pace that you've been going on with, it's okay. And if you have finished genetics, it's still okay. Because uh, then you can use these classes as a as a as revision, right? Like I said, the very first thing that we're going to be doing is genetics in term two, and you can see that it is forty-five marks. It's supposed to be four weeks. Obviously, with everything that's going on, we're going to have to try to make sure that it comes out a bit shorter than that. Right, I hope you have your exam guidelines as always. You need to have them next to you, the latest ones. And then, you know me, I also like to keep the 2015 exam guidelines open. 
so that we can get those descriptive terms that will tell us exactly what these guys are looking for in our pursuit of excellence right right genetics and inheritance what are we talking about here guys um the exam guidelines require us to know they require us to know a few things we need to talk about Mendel and uh, all, all that jazz. Now, but listen, uh, to make it very nice and sweet for you, genetics is the study of, uh, of heredity and variation. The study of heredity and variation. I hope that you can see that well. Let me blow this up. Please write your own notes. You definitely need notes. Muscle memory, guys. How can we pass without the muscle memory? How will we know what to read and what not to read? What to write in the exam if we've never written it before? So let's make sure that we write our notes. Are we together? Right. There it is. Genetics is a study of heredity and variation in living organisms. Now, what does that mean? Um, we are studying how characteristics, remember in our previous lessons, we were talking about how genes, they carry, you know, uh, characteristics that can be inherited, how they code for protein synthesis and all that. But now, we're now going down now into the details of what, how are characteristics passed on from one generation to the next generation how are characteristics passed on from parent to offspring how is it that you as a human being as a child have been able to inherit some characteristics from your mom and some from your dad uh, it could be physical characteristics it could be mannerisms something that is not tangible but that you do maybe a particular posture that can be related to to your dad or whatever and then we notice that sometimes we, we see that you actually have characteristics that are then that you have that maybe your parents don't have but your grandparents have so we're going to be looking into all that and besides just looking at how we inherit uh, different traits, characteristics. We also look at the variation, a study of how living organisms in general uh, become different within a particular species. So what am I trying to say here? Break it down like this. You are, remember when we're doing reproduction, you are basically now an adult, but initially you used to be Half and half. Mommy gave you half her chromosomes. Daddy gave you half of the chromosomes. And then these fused during fertilization. And then we end up with a zygote that then developed through the various stages up until you came along. But yet, when even though half of you came from your mom and half of you came from your dad, you're still going to have situation. You're still going to have those things that are unique to you that your mom and your dad don't have. And that is the variation that we're talking about at a smaller scale, at a smaller scale. So, yeah, so genetics is the study of heredity and variation in living organisms. Now, let's, some recapping. Genes are the basic units of the heredity in living organisms. This you know. And chromosomes are made up of many genes. And hereditary characteristics are transferred by gametes. So that means that when your parents did the doo-doo, then your, the, your father's sperm and your mother's ovum, they fused to bring about you. So during fertilization, the male gamete from the father and the female gamete from the mother fused to form a zygote. They fused to form a zygote and each organism inherits certain gen general characteristics from its parents which are unique to a particular species. Uh -huh. Each organism inherits certain general characteristics from its parents, which are unique to a particular species. Give me a second here. I want to show you something here. Let me open the, the word one. I'm going to blow it up nice, nice, and, nice and good for you guys. Right. So, 
we are inheriting characteristics, general characteristics that will make us to be who we are. For you to be called a human being, it is because of the characteristics that you are having. And we cannot inherit characteristics, general characteristics. The general characteristics we talk about is this, some like the basic uh, two legs, two arms, uh, your brain, how you're able to process things, how you're able to talk to people, the intelligence that you have. That makes you a human being. Um, empathy, feelings, and all that. Uh, things that are unique to a human being. Those things. So those we inherit from our parents. Those general characteristics. That ensure that we are who we are. And then each organism also inherits special characteristics from both parents that make it unique. Right. Um, as in within your class within the guys that you, you are in class with, you have, all of you are all human beings. All of you, all of us. So within a class, we're all human beings. Those are the general characteristics. And yet within the class, save for those who may be maternal twins, but within the class, you're going to have a situation where even though you're all human beings, you're not all the same. So those are the unique characteristics we're talking about. What makes you unique? What makes you different from the rest of uh, the human, the homo sapiens species? Right? Each organism will also inherit special characteristics from both parents that make it unique. And then the complete set of genes of a particular organism is known as its genome. Uh, this is a question, by the way. A pastor is a question. It's in uh, uh, question 1.1. 1 1.2, 1 sorry. You know, they give the correct biological terms. Or it can be given as a section A, 1.4, or section B. Within the questions, define what a genome is. So please, uh, the notes we need from you. So please make sure that they, you get them. A genome is a copy of all the essential DNA coding. Let's open from here. All right. Let's close this. Let's do this. Right. Review. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying to get this thing to be all good for you. Yeah. So that we can work with. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lovely. Right, a genome, a genome is a copy of all the essential DNA coding required to synthesize all the proteins needed by an organism. Right, so what are we trying to say? All the genes within your body make up the genome, all of them. All those genes and the instructions that they are carrying is what your genome is. Right. Now, this genome will have all the essential DNA that you need for you to, to synthesize all the proteins that, you know, that, we took, that we talked about during our protein synthesis in term one. Now, each somatic cell possesses a complete set of genetic instructions, which are the genes. Why genetic instructions? Remember, genes, they carry the code for the synthesis of proteins. They tell us how to make the code the proteins. So these are the genetic instructions that we're talking about. With the exception of the somatic cells, the one exception are the red blood cells, erythrocytes, and these because they do not have nu uh, nucleus. Remember a nucleus is um, in the nucleus that's where we find located our DNA. So because they don't have a nucleus, red blood cells, then they don't have any chromosomes. No chromosomes, no genes, no genes, then that means that there is no, there are no genes in there, no genes for protein synthesis and everything, right? So each organism has its own unique combination that is determined by the sequence of nitrogenous bases on the DNA molecule. This we know from term one, right? Now, from all this, we find that the scientists determine the evolutionary relationship between organisms by studying the DNA sequences of different organisms. Now, listen to this. Uh, don't get caught up in that. 
that's just an introduction to what where we are going when we get to uh, evolution. But yes, we can study how the DNA is between individuals of the same species and between individuals of different species to see how and where and when they evolved and how they evolved, when they evolved, where they evolved. So 99% of our human, human DNA is identical. I remember I told you this last, last term. 99%, 99.9 is all identical. It's only that 0.1% that makes you to be unique, to be the person that you are. So think about this. What are we, look, what, what, what are we trying to say? We're trying to say that you're having genes. The genes are carrying genetic instructions and these instructions make us who we are. And now we are saying that when we are looking at genetics and inheritance, we are trying to say that we are going to be studying how this heredity and how, how we inherit things and what makes us to be different also within a population of the same species and also a population of individuals of different species. Uh, I hope you got that introduction. Should you have any problems, you know where to find me. Uh, thank you so much. Eh? I'm going to be taking another lesson now for another session now for the next lesson. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Welcome back, guys. I miss you.